You deceived me. When I spoke to you the other night on the phone, you said that... Uh, no, sir, I did not. You asked me if I were Jewish. I told you the truth. I am not Jewish. Just a precaution, uh, I don't mix with your kind, and uh, we call your race niggers. Well, Commander, I have been called nigger many times, and uh, this is the first time that I'm being paid for it. So you just go right ahead. Now, what have you got against us niggers? Oh, I've got nothing against you. The uh, white people simply aren't going to allow you to uh, uh, mix whether you like it or not. Well, are you entitled to speak for the people of America? Well, I'm saying the same thing I think that uh, Malcolm X is saying. Uh, I think I'm speaking for the majority of white people when I say that uh, race mixing uh, simply isn't going to work. Uh, the average uh, black simply don't fit into modern society. If you study history, you'll find that the black race has done uh, absolutely nothing. Nothing? Well, what about the contributions of all those millions of African Negroes and their descendants who helped to build this country? Well, the fact is that uh, that so-called contribution was uh, mostly menial, uh, manual, could have been done by horses. Uh, were trained uh, monkeys uh, from the same trees that you were uh, flushed from back in Africa. But, uh, your average nigger is not as intelligent as uh, a white man. Well, there is no evidence to substantiate that. Well, but you see, you're an intelligent person. I, I enjoy talking to you. But then, uh, you're not, uh, pure black. Uh, there must have been some, uh, white man in your background. Am I right? Right. What I'm saying is that uh, your intelligence comes from my race. Uh, it comes from the blood of my people, and uh, white blood can make a, a part nigger uh, intelligent. Every authority in genetics has attested to the fact that the racial groups around the world are genetically indistinguishable from each other. So, Commander, in other words, all men, uh, hybrids included, are created equal. You're bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> Don't you know all this equality garbage was started by a, a Jew anthropologist by the name of Franz Boas? Do you think that uh, Hitler was justified in exterminating six million European Jews? I don't believe for one minute that any six million Jews were exterminated by Hitler. Never happened. Those photographs that have been passed off as pictures of dead Jews have been identified by me. Uh, my research director here as uh, the corpses of innocent Germans killed on the one night uh, Allied bombing uh, of Dresden. Is mail order hate literature your primary source of income? Yeah. That, plus uh, initiation fees from members, plus uh, uh, small donations from uh, those uh, people who uh, appreciate what we're trying to do here. And uh, well, plus the proceeds from special uh, uh, 
special events like our hate nannies. What are those? Uh, big musical jamborees. We hold them on patriotic uh, holidays. Well, could you give us an example of a hate nanny lyric? Oh, sure. Well, just remember the jazz part. <clears throat> Ring the bell, shout for joy. White Man's Day is here. Twenty million ugly coons waiting on the pier. America for whites, Africa for blacks. Hand that ugly chimp his stick. Hand that coon his spear. Now, those are some of the lyrics. You want to hear more? We get the general idea. Yeah, I think a uh, man has got to stand up, hoist his flag, and tell you who he is. And that's just what, that's what we try to do around here. Do you have any uh, anti-Jewish uh, ballads in your hate nanny song? Oh, play? sure. One of the favorites around here is uh, Jews are through in 72. Uh, we sing it to the tune of uh, Mademoiselle from Armateurs. The Jews are through in 72, parlez-vous. The Jews are through in 72, parlez-vous. We'll feed them bacon till they yell and send them all to kosher hell. Hinky dinky, parlez-vous. Then it goes on, of course, repeats itself. Uh, I can't remember the last. <laughs> 